Hello, welcome to this video on Cardiff School of Engineering. My name is Dr. Mike Harbottle. I'm the Director of Recruitment and Admissions for the school, and I'm also a lecturer in Civil Engineering. And with my colleagues, Nia and Faye, we'll be taking you through some of the courses and other bits and pieces we, uh, we, we have here in the school. Civil engineers enable uh, civilization to operate as it does currently. We do things like produce, we build, we design transport networks, we help manage waste and pollution, we tackle problems like how do cities work, how do they operate in such complicated systems, and many more subjects too. So what's interesting about being a civil engineer is not just that it is making such a big difference to society and civilization, it's also that it's really creative. Every job, every project we get involved in is absolutely different to every other project. It might superficially look the same, but the challenges involved are really differ from project to project, from site to site. Here at Cardiff, we have three areas of civil engineering that we we teach that we have degrees in these areas. The first of these is civil engineering. So this covers all sorts of different subjects to do with structures, to do with geotechnical engineering, which involves soil, to do with water engineering, and all of these come together in any civil engineering project. On top of that, we have two smaller topics, but no less important. The first of these is architectural engineering, which has got a, a, a base of civil engineering material. But around that, we also try to focus more on the construction and the operation of buildings. The third degree we offer is civil and environmental engineering. This is a subject that includes the major topics of civil engineering, but has a particular focus on the environment and the environmental impact of engineering. And that includes things to do with management of waste and management of pollution, but also water treatment. So all of these degree schemes are available as either a B-Eng or an M-Eng. That's a Bachelor of Engineering or a Master of Engineering. Essentially, they start at exactly the same point and they're identical for the first three years. The MEng degree, the master's degree, has an extra year at the end of it, so it's a four-year programme as opposed to a three-year programme. There's a huge amount of flexibility in our degree schemes, which gives you the opportunity to swap between courses, particularly in the first year to a year and a half of your time here. So that means you could start off with civil engineering or switch and switch to architectural engineering very easily. Our industrial and overseas placements are all available on any scheme and also you have the opportunity to start on these once you are here, so it's not something you need to apply for straight away. Many of our students will choose to specialise. There are options in the third and the fourth year particularly where people who would like to specialise in a certain area can choose topics in those areas and they end up focusing in, for example, structural engineering or geotechnical engineering because that's where their main interest lies. Many students choose not to specialise and they'll choose quite a broad range of options in their third and fourth year, which means they are keeping their options open to an extent, but that doesn't stop them from specialising later in their career. All of our courses are accredited fully by the various institutions relevant to civil engineering. That includes the Institution of Civil Engineers and the Institution of Structural Engineers. And that's really important when it comes to you moving into industry because it essentially allows you to progress to becoming a chartered engineer much more easily than it would be otherwise. Students are taught in a range of different ways here at Cardiff. So we have lectures, tutorials, field trips, site visits. In our first year, our semesters are split into five weeks of teaching, followed by one week of assessment, and again, five weeks of teaching and one week of assessment. We believe this provides our students with a greater structure in year one, helping in that transition from school to university. Our approach to teaching in year one is very much problem-based. So our students will learn in maths and computing and engineering science. So learning about fluids, geomechanics, structures and materials. Students then apply this taught knowledge to a year-long project that we have in place in year one. So for example, a hydro dam scheme. So being able to apply the knowledge of structures and materials to that project and also work with students from other disciplines, so mechanical or electrical engineering. This provides a true interdisciplinary project which mirrors how engineers work in industry and so getting our students to think and work like engineers from year one. There's a wide range of different labs students can take, including fluid mechanics, the open flow channels and pump properties, they also have opportunities to learn how to assess the performance of different structural materials such as soils, concrete and steel. 
they will also learn different water treatment technologies and processes. In year three, students have opportunities to undertake a final year project. This can be laboratory based, which can be either based on a research topic proposed by an academic or the students themselves, or it can be completed with the collaboration with our industry collaborators. We also have base room sessions for students to discuss their design projects and to learn from the peers in the classroom or in the forum. A key part of the programmes that we offer here in Cardiff are the residential field trips that we provide in each year of study. In year one, our students um, start to learn basic surveying skills here in Cardiff and then we have a residential field trip which provides students with an opportunity to further develop their surveying skills and work on tasks that mirror those that they would do in industry, so for example setting out. The field trip that students undertake in year two covers a range of different tasks from water, coastal erosion, environmental impact assessment associated with a new building development, engineering geology, renewable energy and many, many more. In year three, the residential field trip that we offer is more construction focused. In recent years, our students have visited highways development, rail projects, and high-rise buildings. And this provides the opportunity for students to visit working construction sites and appreciate more of the challenges that uh, the, the contractors uh, face on these projects. In year four, there is an optional residential field trip available to students on some of our programmes, uh, which is more focused on design feasibility. Our students in the School of Engineering also have access to the wide-ranging facilities across the whole university, including the lab spaces, the study spaces, as well as the sports facilities. We also have computing labs and spacious study space in our library in the Trevithick building. It is also worth noting that there are many professional societies, such as ICE and iStructure-E, who will host their evening lectures in our School of Engineering. This gives students plenty of opportunities to network with the professionals in their field. And this also helps them to learn more about the real-world projects and case studies to consolidate and reflect what they have learned in the university. Our major entry requirement is mathematics. This is because a lot of our engineering courses are based on mathematics, particularly applied mathematics, and it's used an awful lot in every year. We don't require any other sciences, physics for example. Uh, for entry, uh, we feel that uh, the maths covers everything we need for our first year students. If you aren't taking maths at the moment, then that's not a problem. We also have a foundation course which is available and is designed for people who aren't studying maths but would like to move into engineering. So the foundation course is focused on maths and also physics topics and it, it's designed to give you confidence and abilities to progress onto any of our undergraduate courses. Typically around 80 to 90 percent of our graduates in Cardiff do end up working in engineering. That can be in a range of roles uh, from contracting where they're working on site, uh, maybe working on highways, rails, building projects for example, or working in consultancy which is more office based predominantly so maybe working on design projects. Some of our previous students have gone on to work on a range of high profile projects so for example Crossrail, HS2, at the Principality Stadium here in Cardiff, uh, Hinkley Point C uh, and the Hong Kong Metro. Although engineering is a vocational degree, the skills that engineers develop, so problem solving, project management for example, are really valuable in other sectors. So some of our graduates will go on to work in finance for example, and others will continue with their research careers, so maybe studying for an MPhil or PhD before pursuing an academic career. If you haven't already, we do recommend that you come along to one of our in-person events to find out more about the School of Engineering and the programmes, facilities that we have on offer. Thanks for watching. Diolch